Are you attached to some DOA characters? Ever wanted to know the little things about them? Well, if you got five minutes, sit back, relax, and hold your peace. Because we're about to step out of the danger zone and into some lighthearted trivia about the cast of Dead or Alive in his new offshoot series, Dead or Alive Trivia Explained. Today's mini show focuses on a character who has absolutely no relation to the leading lady of the print temps whatsoever, Honoka. Please note that this trivia will not follow the story and lore directly. Hanukkah was born on March 24th and is 18 years old. She made her original debut on February 17, 2015, the same day of the third and final update of Dare Alive 5, Dare Alive 5 Last Ring, released on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, as well as PC and previous gen consoles with glaring omissions. Incidentally, the release date for Dare Alive Extreme 3 was also on Hanukkah's birthday, albeit not originally, as it was intended to be released late February, only to get a month's delay. Prior to her reveal in Famitsu Magazine earlier that January, the developers vaguely hinted at the latest female character being the biggest, which will later confirm to be referring to her bus size. To give an idea of how big, here's a breakdown. Prior to Dead Alive 5 Ultimate, Tina Armstrong had the largest bus size, at 95 centimeters. She would then be edged out by Rachel in Dead Alive 5 Ultimate at 96 centimeters. Hanukkah's bus size is a whopping 99 centimeters. As such, she would be the poster child of Dare Live 5 Last Round's PS4 and Xbox One exclusive graphics engine called the Soft Engine, which enhanced the soft skin textures, and given Hanukkah's sizable features, it's more profound than others. Oh, and the Soft Engine enhanced particle effects too. Unfortunately, this will not be the case for the PC and last gen console versions. While the last gen consoles would still get gameplay updates up to a certain point, the PC version would miss out on not only the Soft Engine's enhancements, but two of its brand new stages as well. Similarly to Nico, Honoka was the second of three all-new 18-year-old female characters created intentionally with modern anime tropes in mind, and was specifically created to appeal to a Japanese audience, right down to addressing herself in the third person at times. Also like Nico, Honoka had a character opposite her release that was created, or rather recreated, to appeal to a Western audience, and it was none other than the final boss of Dare Alive 1, Rido, who possessed a more cybernetic design. Ironically, both characters were designed as mimic characters, borrowing moves from most, if not all, the playable cast, with only one or two unique moves of their own. Honoka's Japanese and English voice actresses are Ai Nonaka and Kira Buckley. Inspired by her interest in the 1992 manga-based anime series Yu Yu Hakusho, Nonaka chose to take on voice acting as a career, despite her previous interest as a traditional actor in live-action movies. After graduating from the Tokyo branch of Aoni's Seiyu Coaching School, she pursued her dream as early as the year 2000, becoming an affiliate of Aoni Production. As of 2021, Donaka's notable roles include Konoka Konoe from the Najima series, Kyoko Sakura from Madoka Machika, and Elena Stoddard from Yves to Open Felgana, a remake of the third installment in the series, Wondrous from Yves. Kira Buckland is a freelance voice actor who graduated with a bachelor's in Japanese from the University of Alaska Anchorage in 2007. During that time in college, she began working her craft in voice acting three years prior, focusing mostly on new grounds animation projects, radio dramas, and some fan-made video games. She was not only president of the anime club in her college, but is also the founder of Alaska's first ever anime convention, SenshiCon. Her many voice acting roles include Setsuna from Inuyaku's sequel series, Yashahime, Falk from Street Fighter V, Talon from Soul Calibur VI, Mehmet from Sailor Moon S, and arguably her greatest breakout performance to date, Yorha No. 2 Type B from Near Automata, or 2B for short. Speaking of which, it's time to be getting our focus back on the character at hand. Yeah, I know, corny, sue me. Much like Marie Rose before her, Hanukkah would become extremely popular among fans, notably Japanese fans. As such, she was pushed and pushed often as a recurring guest character in many games outside of Dead or Alive within Koei Tecmo's imprint, such as Warrior All-Stars, Azura Lane, Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash, Senran Kagura New Link, and Destiny Child. No, not that Destiny Child. Hanukkah's push in popularity even got to the point where she, alongside Marie Rose, was almost replacing Kasumi and Ayane as the poster girls of the franchise. Almost. 
Speaking of Marie Rose, did you know that at one point, she and Hanukkah both shared the same concept designs? Following the debut of Marie Rose and Daryl I-5 Ultimate Arcade, some of the unused concepts would be repurposed for Hanukkah instead. Speaking of concepts, in the 2D fighting game Skullgirls, Fukua's 21st color palette, Splitting Image, is based on Hanukkah's overall color patterns. As far as Hanukkah's costumes go, many of them are related to cows, which are a deliberate reference to... Yeah. Moving on! Hanukkah's rock, paper, scissors taunt can not only hit an opponent, but can hit from different heights depending on the hand. Scissors is a high punch, paper is a mid punch, and rock is a low punch. During Hanukkah and Marie Rose's tag team intro on Dead Alive 5 last round, Hanukkah asked a radically different question to Marie in the Japanese version. Rather than asking for a practice round, Hanukkah asked if she could borrow her chess, which makes Marie's reaction to the question make a lot more sense. This question is a reference to how sumo wrestlers typically ask for a sparring round. In sumo wrestling, it's believed that a wrestler's power lies in their chest due to the heart being located there. It also serves as a joke about their polarizing bus sizes. Believing the cultural reference in a joke would go over many non-Japanese players' heads, the localized versions changed the dialogue to Hanukkah simply asking for a sparring round directly. And now the final piece of trivia I've been dying to talk about. The similarities to Hanukkah from Dead or Alive and Honoko Kosaka from Love Live. While they have similar hairstyles, one has orange hair while the other's pink. While they have a half ponytail, they not only wear it on opposite sides of their head, but one ties it with a yellow ribbon while the other has a skull ornament. And while they have similar schoolgirl outfits, they also have very different bus sizes. Taking all this into account, is Hanukkah by all intents and purposes a deliberate inspiration of Hanukkah Kosaka from the popular anime Love Live? I gotta be honest, I don't know. It's just too much of a coincidence. And furthermore, Team Ninja never confirms nor denies it. And then again, the question was never asked to them directly. Maybe one day we'll get an answer to that question, but I wouldn't count it anytime soon. That wraps up today's DOA trivia for Hanukkah. If you want to learn more about the airheaded mistress of mimicry, you'll have to wait until Season 5 of Daryl Live or Explain. And while she may hold the record of the biggest honkers in DOA by far, our next episode teaches us that sometimes the biggest standouts come in small packages.